Hello, my friends, and welcome back. PlayStation Live from E3 continues here in downtown Los Angeles, and I have the great pleasure of being joined by Miko from Ubisoft Red Links, and we are talking about Trials Rising, which is coming to PS4. Ramon is joining me for the program. Hello. I'm back. Sir. Never left. You're back. Never left, actually. <laughs> Miko, it's such a pleasure to have you here. No, it's great to be here. Thank we are so excited to talk about the game, finally. It was I'm, announced I'm... on Monday, and this is the dream come true to me and Welcome. my team. Welcome. Uh, so first of all, tell me a little bit about Trials Rising. What would you say was the team's goal with, uh, with this chapter in the Trials series? Right. So we wanted to create the biggest Trials game to date. So we are shipping it with more content, more tracks, more customization items than ever before. Uh, we also wanted to bring Trials back to its roots. So we wanted to focus on competition. And uh, it's uh, based on a real-world setting. You get to race around iconic locations all around the world. Uh, Eiffel Tower, the pyramids, you know, but all with the Trials twist. So, right, yeah. always, always with that twist, yeah. right? And, and I, I want to point out that Trials Fusion launched in 2014, right? So this has given your team, I assume, a lot of time to reflect, kind of process all the amazing community creations that you guys have had, as well as feedback from the community. I mean, what sort of lessons have you learned along the way, and what was some of that feedback like for you as a studio? Right, so, yeah, first of all, we have really strong community, and we have really close relationship with them. And when we started working on this game, we wanted to make sure we, you know, we get it right. User-generated content is super important for us. Uh, we wanted to bring players in from the day one just to you know, iterate the game with us. And uh, we have managed to improve some core aspects of the gameplay. So the uh, physics, uh, physics gameplay is improved. The track editor, uh, where you can create your own tracks, we have improved that uh, based on the feedback from our, uh, from our community. We've included all assets from the previous uh, Trials games, from oh, HD, Evolution. Really? Fusion and the Blood Dragon, so you have more than 8,000 objects in the game, so you can create whatever kind of tracks you want. I, and I think that's an important point to make, though, and to, and to overstate it, is that in your game, you can create a nearly limitless permutations of the game, right? And with that, with that tool, which you said your, your studio actually uses to build the tracks that are in the single-player campaign. Yeah, that's I right. Mean, that's so, a, yeah, we are using the same tools that we give out with the game. And uh, the track central where you can download the tracks, that's actually a good recruitment tool for us because uh, we just check like, oh, these guys are creating amazing content for our game. And then we give them a call. <laughs> and like, call. Yeah. Hey, guys, would you like that? to work with us? It's like calling up their community like, you guys want a job? Yeah, you got job. one. Yeah, those Come are the up. best phone calls I've ever done. It's just uh, amazing to uh, see the guys like, first you don't hear a thing. It was like, are you serious? Then they go, ah. It's, yeah, it's like most rewarding I love moments it. I in love my work. It. So how do you balance the racing, the platforming, and the tricks in Trials? Because that's, that's got to be difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so you start, um, so there's a progression in the game. So you start as a, like a rookie rider. You get to race these kind of like a track setup, build out of wood and like scrap materials. And then when you progress in the game, you get to more harder tracks and more like competitive settings. You get to race in the big st stadiums and, you know, on your world to be a trials champion. And also, uh, when the tracks are getting harder, they will, it will become more like a puzzle. Like, the track you see here is more like, you know, roller coaster, you know, full speed. But then when you progress in the game, you get hard, hard tracks or extreme tracks, then you really need to, uh, you know, polish those tricks and like really uh, master the controls. When we were talking backstage, you mentioned that you wanted to talk a little bit about, I know we we're talking about the editor already, but some returning modes, the returning favorites uh, that are in Trials Rising. Did you want to sound off on any of the other modes and kind of ways people will be able to play your game? Yeah, so the single play campaign, what you see here is of course the core of Trials right. competition. But, uh, but this time we wanted to kind of <clears throat> lower the barrier between the uh, single player and multiplayer, so it kind of feels that you would be competing uh, other players all the time. Uh, yeah, so multiplayer is super important for the competition. But then one aspect also is the party game or trials is fun to share with the friends. <laughs> so the local multiplayer will uh, return. So four, four player couch co-op play. And uh, yeah. I, I was actually wondering if you could just touch, sorry Ramon, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, one of the things that I love about this series is just sort of the long history of it and its humble roots. 
um, kind of as a, almost like a browser experience originally that has sort of evolved over time into this huge full feature game. And I, I was just wondering, you as a studio, I mean, do you guys look back on that history and take inspiration from sort of where, you know, the game has been and where it's going as well? Yeah, of course, Trialis is the most important brand for our studio. And uh, uh, I think it's that pixel perfect gameplay that has been the connecting factor between uh, the Trials franchise, and that's what we've been trying to polish to perfection now with this one. Yeah. So it's really, yeah, really excited about this game. So what would be your message to the most hardcore fans as you're coming up to Trials Rising? Like, what can they really be most excited about? Or what are you most excited about? Well, first of all, of course, being able to finally talk about this game, <laughs> but the actual yeah. game mode, so... What, one of my favorite modes, and uh, now when we have the demo at the E3 at our Ubisoft booth, we've seen uh, players enjoying the tandem mode. So that's a new uh, co-op mode that you can play uh, co-op together in a motorcycle bike that has two uh, uh, handlebars <laughs> and two seats. Uh, you can play that with your friend. So that's uh, you have to be communicating with your friends in order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's work. It's that's super the, much that's fun. Tandem mode, right? Tandem, yeah. Oh my God, that is amazing. Have you, uh, you, that must be a lot of fun to test in the studio, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, have any, do you have any memories of like a, a track that just blew the studio away that was created either, either inside the studio or kind of outside in the community that really became like a centerpiece for your, uh, for your track editor and the game design? Yeah, well, it's, of course, it's amazing to see what, uh, what the guys are actually, uh, they are taking our tools and they are creating something like crazy. Like we've seen, uh, we've seen a mind track uh, built inside of a trials editor, so actually you can you can load Minecraft and uh, like build a, an island full of blocks and you know the crazy things people have done like first-person shooters, and it's just it's insane uh, to see what how creative people are. I love it, Ramon. Any final questions before no, we let looks you go? Amazing. All right, amazing. Thank, Nico, you. thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having do you, me. Do you have like a final uh, message for the trials community before we get? Yeah, absolutely. Stage? So before you get <laughs> off stage. <laughs> yeah. So if you're here at E3, please join our booth. Uh, uh, come and test Trials Rising. And uh, please re uh, remember to register online for our closed beta. Perfect. Look at that. That was so well rehearsed. <laughs> was that, it? That, <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Miko, Ramon, thank you, gentlemen, both. <laughs> Trials <laughs> Rising looks amazing. And thank you, everyone watching at home and here at the stage. Um, it's so good to have all of you along with us for PlayStation Live from E3. We have much more content coming later today. Stay with us. PlayStation.